Oh my god. Oh, my daughter. This is To Be Honest, my name is Alex, and today I am gonna answer a wonderful, insightful question from one of you lovely people to the best of my non-professional ability. Ah, let's do this. So this question comes from Lewis. It's a two-parter, and it starts as, why do nice guys finish last? What can I do to stop girls from seeing me as just a friend? What kind of- That's not my check, people don't like assholes. What kind of world are we living in? Uh, last time I checked, I thought people didn't like jerks. Uh, it's 10.33. What? What really is last? I think there's a better way to turn that around. I don't think nice guys really finish last. I think nice guys don't finish first, but that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. The key is that you're finishing. Nice guys lose out for a lot of reasons, but the number one reason they probably do is their competition, the bad boy. Studies have shown that when we're looking for something short term, like casual sex or some sort of hookup, that we look for masculine features in a guy. We're talking strong jaws, we're talking a good hairline, we're talking a nice V, some abs. They're nice to look at and you know, you wanna bang them. Now the second question was, how can I stay out of the friend zone? And my friend, there's really only one answer. Be assertive, be confident in yourself. Something that nice guys could actually pick up on from bad boys is that bad boys are assertive. They're confident, they know what they want, and they're willing to ask for it. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. Nice guys have a tendency to use nonverbal cues to try to tell people that they like them. And unfortunately, people can't read your mind, sweetie. So nice guys can go on for months and months and sometimes even years of liking someone and not really even doing much about it. Then when they finally tell the person that they like that they're into them, they feel friend zoned because that person feels too platonically comfortable with them. You have everything that people want in a long-term partner. You're great, you're sweet, you like dates, you wanna shower your girl in love and flowers and chocolate and baths. Do all that, that's fine. But you need to be direct and you need to tell that person that you like them or they will never know. They're never gonna know that you like them at all. And they'll never be able to think about liking you back. It's just, it's just the truth. Now there's a difference between being assertive, which is just telling people what you need, what you want, and being aggressive which is not understanding the word no. Not everybody is gonna like you and you're gonna get friend zoned. Everybody gets friend zoned. I like to think of the friend zone as not that bad. Everybody needs friends, am I right? If you get friend zoned, who cares? Listen, that person just doesn't like you that way. They don't feel the same things that you do about them. Be their friend, that's cool. Find someone else to go smooch on. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you found this insightful. If you have a question for me to answer and discuss, uh, you can always tell us in the comment section down below or you can use the link in the description box to ask us anonymously. But thank you for watching and please subscribe to Psych2Go for more. Roxy, get out of my seat. Mm -hmm.